Okay, I'm good. You good? I'm good. good. I'm, I'm in. in. Right, you're in. Okay, ready. Hello. Hello. I am Louis. And I am Max. We're two stone girls. And we, we are, are very stoned, stoned right, right now. now. Very <laughs> stoned. It's been one of those weird days, huh? Yeah, yeah. just... <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm just fucked. Like, I'm just knackered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad well at the end of the day, yeah, and I've had a couple of spoons. <laughs> it is quarter to eight, just about. And uh, we have to confess something this week. We're not sat in the park. We're not. Because it's been a long week, man. It's been raining. Yeah. It's been cold, and the audio quality's not not been kind to us, really, has it? No. So, so we're, we're attempting, attempting recording it like this. So, so hopefully, hopefully it works out. out. If, if not, let us know. Us if you prefer, prefer listening to all the buses, buses and the birds and, and the, wind. the wind, let us know. Yeah, because now <laughs> we're we're on Skype. We're we're probably a little bit more stoned than normal. Yep. yep. <laughs> and uh, I'm lazing out on my glitter covered sofa. On, oh. uh, j- where are you? Where are you chilling out, Mugs? I'm, I'm in, in the, the garage. garage. <laughs> <laughs> I, got I got a really, really nice, nice sofa, sofa here, though. though. I got yeah, a nice sofa. Uh, yeah. I've, actually I've actually got, got a TV, TV, but it's, it's not, not plugged, plugged in. in. No. It's very fancy in here. Well, well, it used to be a dance, dance studio. There you go, a little fact. Has it got all like laminate flooring and stuff? Yes, yeah, it's, it's really, really, it's really fancy. I like it. We took, we had mirrors all the way around the walls, but they were really creepy. So <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that's not fun. Have mm. you still got like poles and shit around from the dancing? You know, you know, no, like, no. a pole. That could be. Fun. No, it's all, it's, it's all, all taken right, right down to the bare brick, brick and shit now. now. So oh, it's, it's just like a normal garage. Yeah, which is nice. So you're in a garage. Oh. I'm in a flat. Yeah. I'm in a top floor flat. Kind of looks like a tree house. It's kind of cool. Nice big room. All the windows open. Nice and chilled out. And what's amazing about this week is we've had three questions, Mags. People have asked us questions. Yeah, yeah thank you for asking, asking us questions. questions. How awesome is that? People want to know yeah, what they've got to say, yo. Cool. Mm, so... Wow. The first first question, question, what was it? it? Okay, so the first question is from Morak Hawk. That's his name. Hello, Morak. Hello, Morak. He (laughs) wants to know, or she, um, I gotta be like full disclosure, I'm stoned, I I just can't tell. Um, They want to know how much can they make selling weed online? Oh. See? See? I, I think, think it, it would, would be more profitable, profitable but I think, I think it's difficult because uh, like, like s- sending, sending it in the post, post it is not the, the best, best of ideas. No, like they are pumping down on it. It's not it's, it's not, not ideal, ideal but yeah, yeah you probably make more money, money but to be fair, fair it, it's not worth it's it. Really, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not, not worth it. And it's selling twenty pound bags tends to be the most profitable sort of position to be in. You know, yeah, buy it. But obviously, I'm not encouraging doing that, especially, especially if you're from the UK, because yeah. they really don't like us smoking pot. So don't, please don't do that. Yes, Just I'd much let someone else take the risk for you. But, you know, don't don't, don't take, take the risk yourself. It's not worth it. it. It's not. I'm, I'd I'd much rather be able to buy it legally. Do you know what I mean? Like if I could buy it from a government store or something like that, I'd I'd feel a lot more comfortable about it because. You know, it's it is it's not a lie that when you buy weed from weed dealers, you, you it is it is funding the criminal economy in this country, and that's a bad thing. And, you know, yeah, I, that... I don't like to be funding that at all. I'd much rather be giving the money to the government and them doing more useful things with it for us. You know, like fixing the fucking NHS, which is in an absolute state, or sorting out fucking housing market, which is again in an absolute state. So. Yeah, or maybe, maybe not, not skimping out on cladding, so then towers no, burn no. down. Hmm. Uh, too soon, <laughs> man. Be... Too soon. But no, no it's you're right. You're right. It's, it's so, so fucking, fucking true, man. Though, it is, that, it is like, really true. They make so, so much, much money off it, but they don't. They, 
that it's because like they were getting a really calm about it and then oh, oh i don't even know which politician it was but then he was like no because now there's this really strong skunk out there so then they they reclassified it again to a bit so it's a bee now isn't it it's a bee yeah like it's fucking it's just, ridiculous no, no, especially, especially when, when like, like loads, loads places of places are legalising it now and it's they're, they're profiting, profiting from it as well. Massive, Hope, look, it's yeah. just Yeah, we'll fo- I think we'll follow suit, but it's just it, it's, it's just shit at the minute. Taking but it it'll be nice when it's all done. Yeah, and I think it, like in countries where they have legalised it, like I don't have any stats to prove this, so I don't know. But I think it actually like reduces crime and stuff as well because stone like stone people just don't want to go out and commit crime man they're too lazy for that well not lazy we're not lazy but you know they've got better things to do with their time you know and when you're all chilled out and stuff you don't want to stab people i'm speaking from experience here you know (laughs) yeah like you don't normally see like you you know when you watch these really shitty um cops and they're you know going for drunk people like you don't see like two stone people having a brawl in the town do you know what i mean it's normally two people that are like fucked on coke and yeah whatever like yeah and it's just like well hmm yeah but yeah i think you're right i think you probably could make more online because if you're posting it out then it means like because usually we dealers are quite local aren't they they have to come and meet you in person and so they'll only go so far you know, if you if you happen to catch somebody who's a little bit too far away, they won't come and give you weed. But if you're selling it online and you're posting it, then yeah, you, you you're probably gonna make probably gonna make more money because you can reach more people. But again, like risk reward, man. You know. Yeah, and like you, it's, it's not about like, don't do it on the normal internet. Mm-hmm. Like no, that's, that's just, just like I hope to Christ that you're not thinking that because that's, that's just insane. insane. You're not, not going to get away with it there, but if yeah, you did it on the dark web, yeah, yeah, you'd probably get away with it. But you've got to remember, there's loads of, like, they, they have documentaries. You just got to YouTube them. Like, you've got police on there just scrolling through, so they they will find you. Like, they they won't take them long to find. You won't be around doing it for very long. Yeah, I think one you know, way you could go is like down the cannabis oil route because that is that's actually legal in the UK. Um, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it, 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 I think you're allowed a certain percentage of THC in it because it needs something like 1% to make it work or some such, I think. But because the medical benefits of weed oil have been shown and proven around the world, they've made that legal in the UK. <clears throat> and there's like quite a few websites out there that are selling like oil related products and they're actually like tidily expensive so you, i reckon that you could probably legally make a book off cannabis doing that if you were in a country where it was illegal to sell i think that might be a way forward yeah yeah, yeah. i agree yeah i think cool. we answered that question quite well actually yeah, yeah. it sounded so. like we knew what we were talking about then as well yeah i don't know how that happened <laughs> that's fucking good that see see you can be a stoner and be clever see Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Right, so what's the next question? The next question is from David J. Baxley. He likes to be called D-Bax. D-Bax. Hey, D-Bax. Hey, D-Bax. Thanks for the question, man. Yeah, Yeah, cheers, man. So he wants to know what's the difference between a seven-petal and a nine-petal marijuana leaf? Well, I had a look at this and there's some debate over it. Um, but everyone calls them fingers rather than petals so some plants can grow up to like 12 or 13 fingers especially if they're like sapphire plants because they have thinner fingers so there's like more room for them to grow Um, some people think that it doesn't really mean anything if you have however many fingers on a cannabis plant it doesn't really make a difference Uh, some people think the more fingers there are the healthier the plant is Um, and there's a lot of agreement out there for that Uh, and there are some plants that don't grow past seven fingers apparently there's uh, an Asian strain apparently that just never gets more than seven fingers Um, but I would like to thank you specifically for the question because it made me laugh my ass off because all I could see in my head while I was reading about it was like cannabis plants with little fingers waving at me (laughs) wearing sunglasses you know (laughs) the whole nine yards so that was uh, (laughs) 
that was quite fun. Yeah, that's all I was thinking. I was just, you know, oh, like chocolate eclair fingers. That would be better than a wee thing. Oh, no, could you imagine what cannabis plants grew chocolate eclair fingers? That's that was fucking awesome. awesome. That's like the best combination ever. We need to take that. Like, we need Someone needs to make that strain. We need, we need to, to make, make that, that happen. happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's petition it. We'll make it happen. We'll find some way to grow chocolate eclair fingers on a cannabis plant. If you've already figured out a way to do that, hit us up, yo. We'd be your biggest fans. <laughs> Send us a sample. <laughs> oh, man. So what do you reckon? Do you think it's all a myth? Or do you think they'd be healthier with more fingers? I don't... I suppose it would be healthier with more fingers, but if you, if you actually think of the logistics of a plant, like... You, you trim a plant down because it's only got a certain amount of roots, so in actual fact, the more fingers it's got, the more nutrients has to go to them rather than the bud that you're creating. So in actual fact, having less fingers would mean a stronger concentrate would actually go into the bud if you in the, the garden. If it works in the same fun, like if it's the same fundamentals as growing a tree or something like that, it that 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 is it you know because that's why you prune things down to strengthen it up you know if you get a bouquet of flowers you take all the leaves off because it's that yeah it makes them last longer by doing that because then the water's going straight up the stem and it's not getting diverted by the the leaves man that's a really good point because um when i was reading up about this i actually saw that when you grow a plant you uh, when it's little you, you take the bottom few leaves off like as it grows the first leaves that it or the first fingers it ever grows you, you take them off to give yeah. the chance uh, to give the rest of the plant chance to grow and get taller and so yeah that would actually make a lot of sense oh see so I'm really glad I did my gardening, gardening now yeah <laughs> see I don't know anything about gardening I live in a flat so I don't have a garden and I'm not very green fingered. Oh. I got to be honest. I grew a tomato once. That was fun. I don't like tomatoes, but I grew one, so I felt proud of myself. Oh, uh, see, I'm getting like I've, I've always lived, lived in a flat, flat, and this is the first time I've been in a house. house. Um, so, so while it's, it's been, been summer, summer, I've just gone, gone proper crazy. So I've got all my herbs, I've got all them going. I've got a couple of lavender bushes going. I'm trying to grow an olive tree at the minute, but the seeds haven't taken quite yet. But I am now growing a lemon tree because that seed's taken, which is pretty cool. And apparently you can put it in your kitchen and your kitchen smells all lemony and nice. Oh, that that sounds good. Like a good idea. Have you got a bay well, tree? They're quite nice. Bay leaves. Yeah. So, yeah, like I'm quite, I'm quite enjoying gardening. Like it's, I don't know. It's rubbing off on you as well, like being able to answer that question. That was like a, such a good answer as well. It made so much sense. Oh, I didn't even think about that before. <laughs> we had I the wrong really question, that. we I'm... researched the wrong ones. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, oh. let's. Let, oh my god, I was so stoned. <laughs> I know, that's, I think that's where I. I like, <laughs> honestly, like. Oh, it, I've been, I've, I've our work is stressful sometimes, and the, we've got so much change. It's, it's. It, by the time you get to the end of the day, I just get really baked. But I get to the point where I'm just like, I don't even know what, what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> like, this is like, it's time for bed. Like, I just keep waking up in place, going, oh, I must have been smoking. Okay, <laughs> I'll fix that. I'll go in. Like, I'm just, I'm all over the place. Yeah. I'm looking for weekend. But I'm enjoying doing this. It's fun. <laughs> it, is, it is a lot of fun. I, I've I've had a, a weird day. Like I've, I've sort of split my work. I've been working from home today, so I did like four and a half hours this morning. Uh, then I logged off, and my mate came over, so I painted her nails. Now everything's covered in glitter and nail varnish. Uh, she left, and then we logged on to do this. Um, at some point, my shopping came, and most of it is still out in the hallway. Um, <laughs> And I sat here and I just smoked an entire day all to myself and I'm like, whoa, I am really fucking baked. I haven't eaten anything. <laughs> and I have shit ton of stuff to put away. But I'm just actually really enjoying the chill out and the chat, to be honest. Just really enjoying it. Oh, well, I, I've gone to the... 
utmost level of laziness because I I experienced something new today at work so I've never had before and it was actually really epic and really nice and I know you, you don't eat meat but I do and I had a pizza burger all right yeah so it's like it a pizza really... and a burger yeah it's, it's a, a burger, burger it's like, like a burger, burger in the middle, middle. but then but it's got all the pizza around it oh that sounds nice it is amazing it has like <laughs> onions and mushrooms and cheese it was f- oh my god so i ate that so i was dead full and the day um some guy at work was trying to get me to do a load of work and i was just like oh shit i'm too full <laughs> so I, I ended up just buying one for me and my other half so as soon as i got in that's all i did i ate my pe- a second pizza burger so now i'm really stoned really full and uh-huh. all my cup of tea, so I'm texting to make sure I get provided a new cup of tea. <laughs> and that's what we do. We need tea. <laughs> we need tea. Mm. Well, I've uh, I'm planning to have pizza tonight, so that's going to be as soon as we've done this. That's my next action is to bang a pizza in. Have you got any corn pizza? Pe- uh, corn burgers? Yeah, I've, I've, I'm man. I'm addicted to them right now. I've been buying like I've been buying <laughs> buns and putting burger sauce and then melting cheese onto the top of the the burger bun. Oh, it's amazing! I've been living on them. Oh, you need to you need, you need to, to fold, fold your, your pizza, pizza around, around the burger and eat it. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> I'll consider it, man. But you know, Pizza Friday is sacred. I'll I'll consider it. But you know, that could be oh. a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> just a massive burger. Just, just put a ring of burgers around your pizza. <laughs> Don't even put more. Just a shuffle. I just need two pizzas. Cover one in burgers and then flip the other one upside down on top. Oh my god, that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, when we have that get together, when we have that get together, we'll do that. We'll do that that night. Yeah, that would yeah. be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's answer our last question. <laughs> <laughs> before we just like totally get off topic yeah, and reveal who we are I'm and start re- talking about stuff <laughs> I'm really lit, I'm ready, I'm ready right. to go I, I can't light another, I can't, I've just, man no, no I'm, I'm telling the same one, one. I, I keep forgetting I've got it and I'm like, oh my god, it's <laughs> <glad." laughs> right, okay, so our last shout out is to Dean Earwicker Dean Ear- Earwicker Earwicker like, Wicker. You know, like Wicker Man. Oh, Wicker, Wicker Man. Man. Oh. Yeah. So, Dean. Hello. Man. Thank you. Thanks, Dean. <laughs> uh, Dean wants to know why weed was legalized in California. Do you know? Well, they voted on it, didn't they? They did. So, um, they did. They voted on it. Um, um, well, it, it's legal, but it's not implemented just yet. I think it's 2018. Yeah, the, they have a bunch of rules around it. Yeah, yeah like it. Basically, basically the way that it, it's pretty cool, actually. actually. Like, no, no one's, one's allowed to sell it, but you're allowed to gift it. So you're allowed to grow it, but you're not allowed to pay to give someone else a plant. So say, like, say we were in California, I can grow one right now, and then give you like a strain of it and you can grow it but it's a gift it's like oh here have, have a wee plant yeah that's cool <laughs> yeah like so it's it's word of mouth if i suppose it's people gifting it and eventually everyone that wants it he can grow like x amount for himself and yeah it sounds pretty good it's a good idea yeah and you can like buy seeds and stuff online can't you really like that's probably yeah. not illegal. I don't. I don't actually. I don't think it's illegal to buy the seeds. I think it's just growing them is illegal. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of cool. I, I think you might end up as well seeing a whole sort of trading thing going on. You know, like oh, I'll do your nails for you one Saturday if you give me a strain of your plant or something. Yeah, yeah like it. And that's kind of cool. You know, moving past money and shit like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah and it's good that people grow it themselves because it's, it's not got all. Yeah. And you know yeah, where but... it's come from you know what sh- ta- what what you're smoking because half the time you like over here when you just when you're just picking up you don't know what it is you don't know what strain you're smoking you've got no you can't sort of think oh, i'll have some sat for you today because i want to feel like this because you, you just don't know 
what you've got. Yeah, you just have to, you you just have to trust that, that what they're saying to you is accurate. accurate. Yeah, and then sometimes you get them strains that don't seem to do much, and then you get ones that are full of stalks, or you get ones that are really crumbly. You don't really know what you're getting. So being able to grow it yourself, I think, is a really, really good play on their part. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's, way, it's so, so much, much safer. Because I mean, they they, they even put fiberglass into, into it before, before now. now. Yeah, you said you had some of that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah I did. It, it was quite, quite bad, bad, to be quite honest with you. Like, like the, it, it, it was, was shit. shit. <laughs> um, like, like you, you could, could tell, tell, and it. Uh, yeah, yeah it, it literally cuts your lungs. Like you you're coughing, and there's actually blood because you've ripped your lungs. Like it's. It's, it's not good. good, it's really not good, good. and it's, it's a shit ton of antibiotics and doctor's appointments to sort that out, and it's, and it's not, not, you don't feel proud when you go in, and, and it's like, well, what have you done? done? And, and then, then they, they already know, know because, because, like, how else, else would you've got, got, you know, unless you've decided to start sucking up fiberglass. You know, it's not something I'd ever want to do. Looking at the consequences I saw, I wouldn't want to do it again, really. It's kind of scary, really. Well, yeah, it's not a good position to be in at all, is it? No, like, I feel quite fortunate now that I trust the people that I get it from now. Um, I, I don't have any sort of doubts in what I get. So, but back then, yeah, I was just a student, so it was just like whoever you could ring at four o'clock in the morning. Um, I, those people were not good people. You know, the people at four o'clock in the morning that are all dealing, like they're, they're probably dealing other things as well. Like you, you don't want to be involved. You, you just, you don't want to be in the car if something goes down. Cause you'll go with them. Like it's that, it's serious. If you know what I mean, if they've got loads of pebbles and shit on them, it's bad. Like it's not. You don't. You just don't want that, really. I wouldn't anyway. So it would be much better if it was legal. We'd much rather do it above board. You know. But... Have you more What? Is there no, a parry? There's, there's some guys outside. Can you hear it? Yeah. There's just some over the road. There's a pub, and I've got my kitchen window open. And, oh, um, well, I was. I, I thought, thought you had a parrot. parrot. I was like, where did you get a parrot? No, no. I over that. My, if yeah. I had a parrot, it would disappear. <laughs> my house is so messy that the parrot would just disappear. It would just blend into everything. But um, <laughs> the pub over the road is insane. Like, you'll be sat there at night watching telly and you'll just hear, like, this massive argument going off outside. It's insane. Like, you can hear them all times of the day. And during the summer, like, if it's a nice day, they'll get, like, karaoke outside and you'll be sitting there and you can hear, like, strains of karaoke coming through the window from, like, really drunk people at, like, 2 o'clock in the afternoon and you're just like, Mum, what the fuck? Sometimes we just stand in the window and watch them. Oh, man. I I didn't... My other half would love watching that. Like, I think we, we used to have druggy like, like druggy people across the street and he used to love watching them. Yeah. And it would be really bad. It's like, get away from the window. <laughs> Which is great where like, we are, because we're on the third, because we're on like, we're quite high up, because we're on the top floor. So when we're looking through the window, I can actually hear them now out of the other window. They've just literally walked around my flat. So I've like heard the noise moving around my flat as they've walked. Um, oh, but like if you stand in the window uh, nobody can see you because you're so high up so it's great you just get to spy on people it's brilliant what the fuck where do you oh no don't no. know <laughs> it's great it's great oh man it's so peaceful around where I am I see all people <laughs> no no we have we have lag outs and arguments and all sorts of shit around here it's brilliant brilliant oh, uh, we've also got people. a guy living next door who's a bit of a schizophrenic so quite often he argues with himself and that's quite fun as well you can hear him in the kitchen arguing with himself oh, I, oh no the, the worst we get is kids like you hear the kids next door but you do hear the dad going shut up and that's pretty funny yeah because it'll just be silent like it's normally when you're watching something really like like a suspense or something and then you hear that and you're just like oh, ruined it <laughs> yeah yeah it gets you like that <coughs> right i think we've answered all our questions i think we did yeah, quite yeah. well this week so ask us some more yeah, yeah and we'll, we'll try, try and answer them. them yeah and have a good week and we'll see you next week see you soon bye bye